Hello my creative friend, welcome to new fluid art tutorial. Today's gonna be a very special tutorial because it is a collaboration with two great artists and friends of mine, Molly from Molly's Artistry and Rinska Dauna. This collaboration project is called Life in Fluid Color. And the idea is that one of us shares some special photo that she took. And then each one of us creates a painting inspired by that photo. We don't agree what we are going to create, so every time it's a prize, and usually all three resulting paintings are very different. I'm very excited to see what it's going to be like at this time. So today, for inspiration, we have this beautiful field of flowers. It's a picture taken by Rinska, and it's an exhibition of million flowers in the Netherlands. So the painting today is definitely going to be very vibrant, very colorful and summery. Awesome. Already. I'm already feeling like it's a carnival. Okay, what's next? Lots of green color, a little bit of challenge for me, but let's see how it's going to turn out. And after you're done watching my tutorial, make sure to go to Rinska and Molly to see what they have created uh, from the same inspiration photo. And this is a third painting in this collaboration in the Life in Fluid Color series. The first one was inspired by a photo taken by Molly in Florida. It was a beautiful flamingo. And the second one was the inspiration photo from me. It was a snowy mountain sort of panoramic view. It was here from Canada. And if you want to see the first two, the process for the first two and the results, of course, I will include the links for you in the description below this video. I'm also very excited to share that with this collaboration, we offer a summer discount on an online course that we have created together with Molly and Rinska. The course is called Acrylic Pouring from A to Z and you can get $25 off uh, this course with the coupon code SUMMER25. This coupon is valid till the middle of August. And by the way, if you want to know what is the difference between the Acrylic Pouring from A to Z course and my new course, The Secret Recipe for Fluid Art Success, I will include information in the pinned comment below the video. So check it out. And with that said, let's get started. All right, let's get to it. So first of all, secret message. And for this painting, I want to have a joy to be a secret message because this color palette is definitely very joyful. And for my base, I want to create a multi vibrant green background. And the main color here is emerald green it's a light emerald green and i added just a touch of white in it okay the next green is also the same emerald green but i added a little bit of gray in it because i want to have a dash of it that is just a little more muted so that i have more depth in my painting and finally i just want to add some titanium white all throughout I'm gonna blow out and kind of blend some of those greens with my white. Just drilling it. Okay, I think this should be enough paint and let's blow it out. So I do want to create two flows, maybe I'll connect them in one. One is going to go towards the top of my canvas and one towards the bottom. And this is where I want to have my flowers, my vibrant pops of color for the tulip and floral inspiration. So I already have some white, but I want to kind of add a little bit more. I want to create a bit of a separation. Let's go with the darker one first. So this one here is Cobalt Violet. I think there should be enough 
for now. Maybe, yeah, Let's stop here. This one here, I have mixed uh, primary magenta with a little bit of that cobalt violet. This color I actually really like. It's kind of burgundy with more blue undertone in it, more violet undertone in it, and I think it's very pretty. Add now the yellow. This is cadmium yellow medium. Beautiful, bright yellow. I think I'm gonna add just a dash of yellow inside of some of that magenta color. I think this part here I wanna make violet as well, the cobalt violet. I also want to add a little bit of gold in every puddle to create a little bit of metallic shimmer. This color here is permanent rose. This is one vibrant color palette. Holy smokes, and all the colors, almost all of them are at full saturation. So yeah, this one is bright. Okay, that should be enough. And finally, I wanna top up each one with some more titanium white. I'm so excited to see how this blow is gonna be. Awesome. Alrighty. I'm already feeling like it's a carnival. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. This is all so gorgeous here. And see where my yellow blended into green? It gave me this yellow green, the more vibrant um, color. And I think it's also very pretty. It definitely adds to this color palette. Okay, what's next? What a carnival! Okay, I think the secret message really works out well for this one. I think this section here could use a little bit of violet too. I think I am kind of like getting there. I will just need to touch this up right here to connect this magenta with this magenta. Okay, that was good. And just need to connect this little here. Okay, I'm very happy with it now. Let's jump to the touch up. The painting is dry. And as always, when I do my touch ups, I'm using the same fluid acrylics and the same exact colors that I use for the painting itself. So I'm extending this line. And of course, the goal is not just to paint over, but really blending those colors with lines and elements that I already have on my painting. I also want to give a little bit more love to this section. So extend the line that I have created with a finger swipe and I am all done. All right, my friends, here it is all done and finished. And oh my God, this painting totally has this vibrant summer vibe. 
after connecting, after doing some touch-ups with these lines here and there, I think it's definitely more connected and flowing so much better from color to color to color, from flower to flower. I'm definitely seeing this dance of flowers here. I love this section. It's absolutely beautiful with this cluster of cells. Same here. And I also really like this part where my green blends into yellow, white, pink, and back to yellow. And it's like so beautiful, very cool gradient. So this section is also awesome. Please let me know, how do you like my outcome today? What do you think about such a colorful, such a vibrant painting? Head over to Molly and Rinsky to see what they have created with this same photo for inspiration, this beautiful field of flowers. And if you want to learn more about the course and the coupon code and the discount, I will include all the information in the pinned comment below this video. So check it out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care, create with passion, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.